-hmm. You also had one of the other terrible symptoms that you suffered was the nausea, the vomiting, the cyclical vomiting, right? Yeah. How, uh, how many times a day would you vomit? So we actually found Dr. Herman, my mom found Dr. Herman by watching his videos because I was last year, last December, January of 2019, I started throwing up chronically and um, it, I was getting IVs and when I would go to the hospital to get an IV the doctor was like well how long have you been throwing up for and it was like oh uh, five six days or like then it was like 20 25 and then when it started getting like 30 days the doctor's like that's literally impossible you probably just have cyclical vomiting syndrome <clears throat> found out with Dr. Herman that's really not the case yeah. but well they can call it that yeah but there's some reason for it yeah so it's not just that's the label and just live with it yeah what did the doctors offer you when you when they realized how often you were going to the hospital because you were throwing up so much what did uh, they do feeding for you? tube feeding tube was it there was no I'm medicine. allergic to everything there was no and medicine to fix anyway there no. was no magic allergy right. shot there was nothing to fix it right I'm allergic to everything and they're like we could give you a feeding tube and I was like I'll die yeah. but I lost uh 25 ish pounds from where i am right now i was not doing well and my mom was like we have to do something and we found your videos and i started coming here um i've i've gained my weight back so i'm, I'm happy about that i'm doing well um but i was is not i was throwing up everything i mean i i was going to the hospital to get ivs because i couldn't even hold my water down and i was throwing up several times a day like two three times a day um from the end of December until the beginning of or mid April and then May I came here and um I had gained a little bit back because my mom was putting me on a different diet trying to help me keep liquid calories down so I gained a little bit back and I started coming here and within like the first few weeks of the first protocol I was um, I was throwing up like maybe once a day instead of three times a day. I, w I didn't have to get any more IVs. But now you've had 10 to 14 days of no vomiting. Yeah, and from a place where like I was spiraling out of control with my weight and I couldn't control anything and I'm just throwing up no matter what to being able to hold food down, stay at a stable weight mm -hmm. and maybe throw up. But within the last week and a half, two weeks, I haven't even thrown up at no, all. Thrown up. Yeah. And you had any nausea in the past two weeks? No, I have not really had any nausea. Um, I was having like chronic nausea from when I started th throwing up back in December, mm -hmm. uh, January 2019 until about August, which was... And that also stopped that, then? It stopped. It stopped was about August. the end of my first protocol, mm -hmm. which everyone's length is mm -hmm. different, but this one, it was about August mm -hmm. and I was my nausea was pretty much gone pretty and much I've gone. had it sporadically but within the last well I guess 100 days because this last protocol, protocol I was I haven't had any nausea, no more nausea.